bacon, cheese and egg. I mean like, how can you lose? <laughs> Welcome back to Food Busker people, JQ in the house. Now this week, I wanted to go back to my roots and give you an old school Food Busker indulgent dish that looks at a classic and gives it a few twists. And as usual, it's all about the quality of the ingredients. This week, it's gonna be spaghetti carbonara, but don't worry if you haven't got one or two ingredients because I'm gonna show you how you can swap them out. Now, carbonara comes from Rome in Italy, and if you want to make a 100% legit authentic version, then you would use guanciale, which is basically a cured pig's cheek. Now, if you can't get hold of that, then you can use pancetta. I couldn't get hold of either because I wanted to get this video out quick, so I'm using streaky bacon. And then to add that food busker twist and to add that flavor, then I'm going to use lardo. Right, now I'm using beautiful, like it's the best pasta you can get your hands on in London. It's from a business called Le Two Pasta. Dry spaghetti will work just fine for this, but get the really thick stuff, like spaghettoni. You guys, anywhere in the UK can get your hands on it. And what they're saying is, every time you order a meal for you, they'll give another meal to the NHS. Like, what legends? This is the thing that everybody fucks up when it comes to carbonara, is that they throw the eggs in straight away and you can't do that. You've got to let the heat come down. That way the eggs won't scramble. Spaghetti carbonara. It does honor what carbonara is about. Mm. Mm. All those ingredients are in there, are absolutely vital. You've got the slight hint of garlic that's just like setting down a bass track. And then you've got the just the crunchy, meaty, smoky deliciousness of the bacon. But then you've got the lardo that's just added a swimming pool of like that fat flavor that you need. You need the fat, it opens up your taste buds, it gives you that experience. The pasta is just sublime and that it's coated in that pepper egg cheese sauce. <laughs> just makes me happy, man. You know, I think comfort food gets looked down on a lot by people, but right now, a lot of us are turning to it. Food's not just about satisfying your daily intake. It's not just about eating the right amount of calories. It's also about meeting your emotional needs. Oh, now carbonara meets my emotional needs. It's the fact the flavors feel maternal. They feel loving. The ultimate isolation kiss from your mom. 